and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is Mary Margaret and today I'm taking you guys along for a day in the life you guys have been loving seeing all the BTS on honey swim so I thought it would be fun to incorporate more of like a day in the life of a small business owner and showing you guys what we get up to so that is what this vlog will be if you guys are interested in seeing what we get up to then just keep on watching I just pulled up to my yoga sculpt class and it starts in 15 minutes so I'm a little bit early but Noah is actually with me this morning he's gonna go sit and work at a coffee shop while I work out with Grace and then after this class we're gonna go visit a potential wholesaler that's local here to 30a so that is super exciting we've had so many dms over the past year like since launching just asking if we sell anywhere in person for people who visit the seaside area or people who live here wanting to just like try the suits on in person so i'm super excited to get that rolling we're hoping to have it in three locations all within this one wholesaler along 30a and then potentially one or two other places in the area as well so that is very exciting if you're coming to 30a for spring break i'm not sure if it'll be set up by spring break but for sure summer um that will be very exciting for you guys to just like come and feel them and see them in person so we'll obviously be posting updates over on honey once that gets more finalized but i thought i would just fill you guys in um i'll try and film as much as i can when we're going there for that meeting but that's kind of the game plan for this morning shower back from class back from our wholesale meeting and the morning is going so fast i swear this day is flying by it's already almost 12 o'clock i need to very quickly get ready because we actually have a call in about 30 minutes for potential collaboration for this year which is literally so exciting i know you guys are going to like freak out over it so this is like our initial call to go over everything, see if it's gonna be a good fit, and kind of just like lay out everything that we had in mind. And we actually have two calls back to back. Um, they're both kind of like collaborations, but still different in their own way. I hate that I like can't say more, but I will try and set the camera up so you guys can like get a little bit of a glimpse of the meeting without giving away anything. I just need to do my hair and then I kind of want to like heat something up, eat something for lunch really quickly too because I am starving. I don't know if I mentioned, but we will be carrying our swimsuits in Ophelia. If you're familiar with like 30A in this area, you know they are like one of the best places to get bikinis. They have three locations, one in Grand Boulevard, one in Seaside, and then one at The Hub, which is like closer to Rosemary Alice Beach. I think they're even carrying um, our honey swim goggles as well at the seaside location. So if you're coming here for spring break or summer, you guys will be able to shop our stuff in person, which is literally so crazy because I grew up, like you guys know, I have an obsession with bikinis, but like coming here for spring break and summer vacations, I would always go into Ophelia and just like look at all the swimsuits, try stuff on and it was like one of my favorite things to do while we were here visiting. And me and Noah used to do photo shoots for Ophelia back in like 
2016, 2018. I'll try and find pictures and put them on the screen here, but it's just like a very full circle moment that now we own our own bikini brand and we'll be selling in the swimsuit store that like I grew up visiting. So we're so grateful to be able to sell locally. They are getting stuff from our cabana collection, which is dropping first week of February. So you will be able to go and purchase those in person as well. All right, I need to stop rambling because I only have like 30 minutes. I'm gonna finish getting ready, grab a quick lunch, and then we will hop on our meeting. I feel like this day is flying by. It's been so hectic, but literally all good things. I wish I was able to like show y'all more of our meetings, but it is, like I said earlier, two uh, collaborations that we're working on that we obviously just can't share details with yet. Yeah. <laughs> right now, Noah is on the phone with our warehouse manager trying to get stuff set for the cabana drop. Um, I'm trying to think this will yeah this video will be going up before our collection drops right now we're kind of just putting together recap emails for both of our meetings today um, just to like fill them in on everything that we covered because it is so much information because there's like a lot of business parts of it but then also like the creative side we have like try to have a good mix of both because it is like a fun, exciting thing to be doing. So we're putting together little recap emails to finish that up and get things moving. My camera is on running on low battery, but I posted a question box on my Instagram for like any small business questions that you guys might have. So I figured Noah's sitting here with me right now, so he might be able to help me answer some of these. Oh my gosh, we got so many questions. That is a lot. First question says, any chance for old launches restocks? Yes, we are working on restocks right now. Do we for, have a time frame? We're restocking Lux and um, the Tropics, Tropics. collection. I don't want we'll to have the month. Tropics collection restocking after this collection goes live, Cabana, I'm not gonna say like a exact time frame just because it all just depends on like shipping and processing things at the warehouse, but the Tropics collection will probably restock first and then Lux will restock shortly after. Mm -hmm. Someone said, when will you extend to extra small? I actually do carry extra small through XL. I think there might only be like one or two Lux colors that don't have extra small right now, just because those are limited edition colors. I don't think we will be carrying those anymore, um, but everything else does have extra small. Someone said, how many bikinis per drop? We really don't have like a set number. Um, it really just depends on like the vibe we're going for and what our designers present to us. And then it really just depends on like what we end up liking, how many patterns we end up liking. There is like a process. So we'll have like revisions, go back and forth with if we want to change any colors. Um, like scale them bigger or smaller to give a different look. And then sometimes we like to add in ribbed, sometimes we like to add in shimmer or terry cloth. Those are two little sneak peeks that we haven't launched yet. So we like to add in stuff that feels fit and it's really just dependent on each collection. We don't really have a set number. This one says, what are the challenges of working with your best friends? I am very grateful. Like I feel like our working dynamic is very good compared to like how it could be for most people. Um, I feel like we all voice our opinions like very well, like there hasn't been any major issues. Thankfully, we usually like agree on most things. Um, we'll try and bounce ideas back and forth, but. Everybody's very like cordial. Yeah. Like we never, which is good. Like nobody like goes after one another yeah. in like an aggressive way. It's always like through normal, um, Lots of like conversations. conversations. Yeah, like there's is, always gonna be stuff that you're yeah. not always going to agree. So we always just like to like talk through why we think something would work or why we think we should go this route and yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that was like one of the biggest things we all talked about before we decided to actually go into business with each other 
was that we didn't want to like um, ruin our friendship by like trying yeah to. basically like our friendship came first before stuff how do you find the designers so for our first two collections we actually designed them ourselves noah had a really big part on that um but <laughs> but after that we were like okay you know what like we have so many other moving parts of this business that we need to take on designers to like fill that role so we actually work with two freelance designers and one of them we knew personally just through like friendship and then the other designer we just reached out to on instagram hopped on a call to see if it would be a good fit and it ended up working out so if you're looking for a designer i definitely recommend just like looking on instagram seeing if anyone is like working with anyone on special projects friend of friends networking anything like that i feel like is the best way to go the next one says do you have any employees like a hard question to answer because we don't have anyone full-time working for us right now it's us four so me noah brindley and lucas and then we have our customer support and then the two designers and that's the extent of like our team right now we would love to one day bring on people to do like creative direction influencer relations like and so many other roles but we're just not at that point yet but i don't think it will be long until we are needing to bring more people on so obviously we'll keep you guys up to date over on our instagram once we are looking to bring people onto the team next question says where does it ship to we ship internationally next one says how much time does honey take up per week oh gosh <laughs> the boys definitely do a lot more behind the scenes work than you guys probably know so grateful to have them putting so much time and effort into it. I don't know if I could give like a, an exact number, like 40 hours a week or something like that. But does honey take up more time than you're influencing or is it more of just a hobby? I would say right now it's probably like 60, 40, 60 of influencing, 40 of honey um, time wise, because I do honey's Pinterest. I help Noah plan out our feed. Um, so like we'll look over it and make sure it has like a good flow, help him do like feed covers. Um, and then every now and then I'll sprinkle in some fun stories. And then I'm also like doing TikToks, filming reels. Me and Brimley are shooting content all the time. So I feel like it's a good balance, but I think in the next few years, I don't know, we'll just have to see. I don't know if Honey will take over more of it or less of it or what, but I think we'll just be able to tell of time. This question says how to get investors. We actually don't have any investors. A little bit scary, but it definitely pays off. And um, I know a lot of companies do, startup companies have investors. And I don't, how would like, if we wanted investors, how would we go about that? Is that like networking? Like Yeah, people you know or Honestly, like most startup brands, you have like a mentor. You could do like friends and family that'll help you raise it. Mm -hmm. or that's probably I don't, the I don't safest have way. The, I don't have the best advice for that one because we don't have experience with it yet. But I would probably say like networking, mentors, family, friends, all of that. And this one says, "Will you ever come out with swimsuits for men? Love your bikinis. Thank you. Um, I definitely think that could be in the future. Yeah, we have. I won't samples. say much on that, but yes." How do you find shoot locations? When we're coming up with collections, we don't always wanna base it off of a location, but it does make it a little bit easier to be like, okay, we know we're shooting here um, because it kind of gives the collection like an overall vibe and aesthetic to go off of. Um, so we really just kind of brainstorm, think what would like look good, um, what's like feasible, like what can we actually make happen? And then kind of narrow it down based on like budget, timeline and all things like that. Will you make different styles of bottoms? Yes. So right now we just have our classic honey cut bottoms, but we do have samples coming in for high-waisted, full coverage, more cheeky. So there will be more styles soon. I want to say those will be happening in 2024. I just can't put like a promise on a set launch or like deadline for that but more styles are coming are you guys bringing back the tote bag yes we are restocking the tote bag again i don't know an exact date on that i don't think it should be too long i definitely want it to have it back in time for you guys to get it for like end of spring break going into summer so that will be coming back very soon let us know if you all want to see other tote bag 
styles. Like if y'all like the oversized fit, if you want to see a print on the tote bag or just like a different design, let us know if that's something you guys are interested in seeing. I try and get a TikTok posted every single morning on Honey. So I'm going to go ahead and get that up and then also get up a few new pictures on our Pinterest. Our Pinterest has been doing really well actually and it's so fun like seeing it grow. So if you are active on Pinterest or you need like some inspo for spring break and summer, I'll link the Honey Pinterest down below. I pinned like a bunch of our pictures, but also just like fun summer vibes as well. <gasps> Wait, are they blue or that's just the background? Oh, I'm like, what? Cool. Noah got us decals for, her. <gasps> for Honey. It's like on your car. Can you put it on your laptop case too or no? I'll probably put mine on my laptop. And then we just had to order a ton of new thank you cards and like care cards. So all of those just arrived. Cute. Love it. If you've ordered anything from Honey before, you usually get like a little thank you card with a discount code on the back. So we just updated this. This is a new picture, right? This one, or is that the same? Oh, that's good. In new photos. Oops, it's not focusing. There we go. New picture, and then we've got this one on the back. Okay, so cute. It's like good quality. Hello, you guys. It's now the next day, and I forgot to end the vlog off yesterday. Sorry if this video is a little bit shorter than normal, but it was just one day in the life. I know you guys love seeing a week in the lives, so weekend in the lives, so a few days in the life. So I'm definitely going to try and pick back up on those now that we are home for a little bit. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching and getting to see some BTS of like a day in the life of a small business owner. So if you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.